Alright, so this is the top bearing and uh, that one's that one's in really good shape too. Basically this one's a little easier because you don't have to push this bearing out. There's there's your uh, shim. Put those aside. And uh, same thing. Let's get this O ring off. And this O ring on this one's not terrible, but they're cheap and replace them. And then this guy is just going to pull out. So you just got to take a Screw, screwdriver or a really probably the best way to do it is with the actual bearing or with the actual uh, now you can go in this way but you just don't want to go into the side so <clears throat> This is just going to be prying it out. And you're just going to work it real slow. <clears throat> that damage in the housing. Or So this one might be like like a smaller screwdriver. Boom. And it comes right out. So then you know you put your new bearing in right there so those are that and that's just really really simple to get those two out so anyway I wanted to show that so, yeah your bearing or your seal is right there on top and that's just going to prevent oil from coming out the top damaging your alternator or or uh, whatnot. I'm going to clean both of these up a little bit and just make sure there's no rough edge. And, um, if you look down inside here, you don't want to take any sandpaper because if you look, there's like very, very, very small ridges. And um, so you don't want to damage those ridges. And, uh, but, you know, just clean it up real good. Use some brake clean or maybe even like some diesel fuel and just clean that guy up really, really well. And, and uh, either one of these is fine. They're both the same. Um, I may pick one, the best one and then probably this one. I notice this has got a little edge to it. But um, that's how you get the that's how you get the seals out and then you just want to inspect your bearings and um, <clears throat> you know these bearings these kinds of bearings they don't they don't the newer bearings aren't as good as these guys so you know if it's really smooth I'm saying these are 75 bucks a piece so you know you you can determine whether you want to replace them or not. Um, I've got some other ones, and so I'm going to pick my best bearing, and I'm going to put it back together. Um, so, like, that one's kind of funky. And if I, this one's a little funky. Um, I've got some other bearings, so I'm going to find a good bearing, and if if I 
determine I don't like either one of these, then I'll probably buy a bearing and put in it. Just because you, the lower bearing is probably more important than the top bearing. However, this top bearing is going to see the most heat because heat rises. So, um, you know, you're going to want to get that bearing in. And the other part about this bearing is when you put it back in, it should go in pretty smooth. Um, however, you need to get something as wide as that lip in order to push it in. So, what I may do is, uh, I don't know if I've got one, I've got a socket that's that big. Um, I may cut out a piece of wood and exactly that dimension and use the wood to tap it in because it'll be soft and then it won't damage your bearing when you're putting it in. Anyway, I wanted to cover that and then the next thing I'll do is I'll be ready to uh, inspect my cylinders.